Good morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? If Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up if you're down and out and depressed and angry. You're the one that created it. You're the only one that can clean it up. And yesterday is gone, and we are not promised tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to go over that wonderful list of all the things that control us throughout the day. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere, then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, never having enough, being in a relationship with a man or a woman, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another. Okay, today I want to talk about grandiose thinking, when is it enough, and how we uh, make it our life and how we lie to ourselves. And let's talk about how much time we waste when we are in our addictions and we think we're living when really we are a complete slave and not living at all and we are so predictable and wondering why your life is not working for you. So uh, let's let's start with um, what it is that you can't stop your head from screaming and saying, you're never going to be enough, you're never going to be enough, you're never going to be enough unless you do this, unless you do that, unless you make this amount of money, unless you that. Okay, it just goes on and on and on in the person that goes from one addiction to another addiction to another addiction to another addiction that is scared to death to just sit, be quiet, and be still and look at yourself in the mirror and be okay with where you are. Just sit, okay? It's okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about how, what is realistic? What is it that you need? Um, A lot of this grandiose thinking is when you're in a relationship or a partner and you're competing with one another because you're never enough. This happens. It starts as a child with your friends, competing with your friends, never being enough, trying to keep it all. It all starts really when you think about it at a young age. I know for me when I played sports, I think that was the only time I felt good about myself was when I was playing sports, but I was never thin enough. I was never smart enough. Um, Everybody was smarter than me. It just, it it went on and on and on. And it's, it's something that as we develop and get older, that we have to say, okay, enough. This is enough. Let's, let's focus on what we are good at. Let's focus on our talents. Let's focus on what makes our heart sing because we're never going to be enough for our partners. We're never going to be enough for our parents. We're never going to be enough for society. We're never going to be enough. So let's just be true and real to ourselves. No more running. Stop chasing. Stop. 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 Enough. The beautiful gift that you can give yourself and why you're running and why you're using is because you don't know how to fight for yourself. You don't know how to speak up for yourself. You're scared to death. If they see who you truly are and you take off your mask, they're not going to like you. And that's okay. There's plenty of people out there. There's plenty of people that feel the same way you do. And you will eventually find your true circle. I was with a friend yesterday, my 90-year-old friend that I absolutely love. And we talk and we ruminate and we share wonderful stories. I took her to the mountains. And I tell you, what a great way to spend a day and 
share different stories of where she's coming, where I'm coming from, and I'm getting insight from a 90-year-old. She's getting insight from me, and we're just really, um, we've been together like over 20 years, and what we teach one another, what we do by helping one another, and calming each other down when we're talking grandiose or or in our addiction we 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 uh, help each other with our food addiction it's so funny and we and we keep each other accountable because remember you cannot do this alone we all need someone to tell the truth to we all need someone to do confession with because we always lie to ourselves so today i want you to just look in that mirror be okay with who you are be okay with everything you're doing and start breaking down your day start being more realistic and whatever it is that you need to clean up whatever addiction it is that you're using pick up the phone ask for help reach out get somebody that specializes in it be with people go into the 12-step program uh, go into therapy whatever it is you need to do it doesn't matter you figure it out you do what works for you don't worry about what anybody else thinks. In the, in the end, it's a win-win for everyone because remember, everything we do, we're teaching the people we love around us to do the same and remember balance, not too much of anything, our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect that you get in return. Remember the goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else your head gets backed up. Remember, if you have an attitude today, be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's always a breakthrough around the corner. Do not quit. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world doing your part no exceptions the answers lie in each and every one of us hey you manipulators smooth talkers narcissisms your words mean nothing and your actions say everything i'm going to read a beautiful saying by louise l hay <clears throat> addictions you're running from yourself not knowing how to love yourself loving treatment Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my conscious, my very being, and radiates from me in all directions and returns to me multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of my love makes me feel good. It's an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take lovingly care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it, and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with a vibration of love so that all who enter, myself included, will fill this love and be nourished by it. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing, one that uses my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people that I love and that love me, and earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people, for I know that which I give out returns to me multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world, for they are mere what I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive and totally release the past, and all past experiences I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good, and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure. For I'm a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore, and so it is. Trust the process. No more questioning. All I need is taken care of. Louise L. Hay. All right, I'm going to read a little part of my book, Daily Inventory Maintenance Checkoff List. We are number seven, um, page 111. I will speak up for myself today. 
Let me read this one more time. I will speak up for myself today. Wow, wow, wow. Short little sentence, isn't it? And it's probably one of the hardest things to do, probably the most incredible thing that we can do, and this is where we carry our power within. I will speak up for myself today. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, everybody, now I challenge you today. When you need to speak truth and you're staying quiet, not good, not good, not good. We all have an obligation and a duty. If we're living our life at the highest level of integrity and we're living a spiritual life and we want to follow the universal principles, it is the worst thing you can do when you are not speaking up and you know, you know absolutely in your heart you should and could be speaking up and you know it's the right thing to do. You say what you mean, mean what you say, and you walk away. You only have to say it once. And this is stuff that you're going to have to learn to do throughout the day in your relationship with your parents, with your partners, with your children, with your grandchildren, with your friends, with the people you love, because this is the biggest damage that we do to our society. This is the biggest damage, the worst thing that we could do, why so many people are so screwed up today, because we have parents that don't speak up to their children. We have teachers that don't speak up to the students. We have leaders that are just talking a bunch of shit, and we have to speak up. We have to lead in our own life. We have to lead in our own families. We have to lead with the people we love. That is called taking care of the world. So today, what I'm going to challenge you to do is to speak up today to your partner, to your loved one, to your friends, and say, I, I had to do this with my daddy when I went into rehab, and I had to learn to be more assertive because he always, always, always carried the power, and I used to say, Dad, I would go there every week. That's how you feel, but that's not how I feel. Every week. Dad, that's how you feel. That's not how I feel. Dad, that's how you feel. That's not how I feel. And then we got into this huge fight. And he goes, Marianne, you'll leave right now. And I said, no, I'm not leaving. I'm not done. I'm sick of you telling me how to think, how to feel. I'm not that insecure little girl anymore. That's a bunch of shit. You bring up the past anymore. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. You have a choice to appreciate that I'm visiting. I want to be here because I chose to be here because I know the hell I put you through. But you're not bringing up the past anymore. It's over. And he said, sit down. And I said, okay. And he said, thank you for not leaving. I'm sorry. I'm just scared. I'm afraid that you're going to go back. I'm not going back. And if I do, you have every right to never see me again. I will never live that life ever again, Dad. I love you. You did an incredible job. I screwed up. But please, don't keep throwing it in my face. It's over. And the beautiful thing from that day forward, we became an equal partnership. And with a respect, till the day he died, he would call me and he would talk to me about things. He would cry with me. He would get vulnerable with me. And he never had that with anybody else. That was the gift I gave my father when I went into recovery and was able to speak up and take him head on. I want to tell you it was the most incredible gift, not only with my father, with my children, with my in-laws, with my friends. And it is the most empowering, greatest gift that we could give to anybody that we love in our life. So today, throughout the day, I want you to have the courage, the power, the strength with your higher power behind you and speak up when you need to speak up. And it's a gift that you give to everybody around you. And remember, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. 
I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she is needed, appreciated, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. Be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will, I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I'm willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day that you don't want to do to have a successful day. Trust the process. My two things are always getting up early, doing my podcast, working out, and keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workshops and my books if you want to learn about my services, lifeandharmonyonline.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services with you. And remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Hit subscribe. Please share with everybody that you love and respect. Start with podcast number one, number two, number three. I did it in a playlist. And there's order into receiving all this information. Do it for 30 days and you will say, wow, in one year... You will not recognize yourself. And remember, I want you to have a stupendous day today. And thank you for listening.